All right, what's up, fellow slaves? I'm gonna be going over some more news today. Just a quick news article I saw in Zero Hedge last night. As you can tell from the title, the news was about the United States sanctioning a top ICC official. ICC stands for International Criminal Court. Why did the US sanction this top ICC official? Because the International Criminal Court dared to attempt to probe or investigate US war crimes in Afghanistan. Now, if you read this article, it makes it very clear that the International Criminal Court is not only going to be investigating US war crimes in Afghanistan, but it's going to be investigating all parties involved in Afghanistan. It's going to be investigating the Taliban, and it's going to be investigating the US-backed Afghani government. So it's pretty odd that the U.S. would say, no, we're going to sanction you when they're trying to investigate it in an unbiased manner by investigating all parties involved. Now, something this actually makes me think about is the nothing to hide argument. When the U.S. was conducting illegal surveillance of the American people and they continued to conduct illegal surveillance of the American people, they used the nothing to hide argument. The if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear argument. And basically this argument states that if they're conducting illegal surveillance and they come across something illegal, well then that illegal surveillance is justified because they don't have the right to keep their illegal activities private. Something along those lines. But basically it's uh, summed up with if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. Now, it's hilarious that the, the government, and this is all governments, it's always rules for thee, but not for me. And of course they can tell us this kind of thing of if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. But when it comes to them, nope, can't have that. With them, they can hide whatever they want, even if it's illegal activity that whistleblowers reveal. In those cases, the whistleblowers are punished harshly and the government goes on with keeping their business private and not wanting to be investigated. Or at least if they do investigate, they want to investigate themselves. Funny how that works. Now, the other thing is, while looking at this article, I of course read the comments on this article, and many people in the comments were using the, oh, they're going after Trump argument. The only reason why they're doing this is because Trump is going after the deep state. This is fucking nonsense. The fact is, is that the ICC is looking to investigate war crimes that probably were conducted under Obama and Bush. So this fixation on Trump is just their attempt to try to make an excuse for why this investigation is not legit or why this investigation is unjust and why it's actually just trying to target Trump while also building up Trump. You know, they're trying to say, look, you know, Trump is, is just such a threat to them that now they're going to investigate Afghan war crimes and probably make stuff up. Well, if they make stuff up, the US has a right to defend themselves in the International Criminal Court. What is it, the, the United States is afraid of having to create an actual argument, an actual justification for their actions in Afghanistan? Are they not able to do that? Are they not able to do that in a public court of law? Anyway, I'm not gonna drag this video on. I'll see you fellow slaves in the next video.